let us talk about turing machines turing machine is a abstract machine otherwise mathematical model to represent your real computer the question number one why do we want it why don't you directly take any computer and purchase it and write a program and execute it that's it why you want this mathematical model further the only reason is sometimes you have a problem x and you don't know how to solve it even you don't know whether that problem can be solvable or not but we can't directly ask that electronic device my dear device can you solve this problem it says simply code it i will try to execute it correct that's why now the problem is whether i can write a program or not not only about me is this uh, in this world is there any person who can write a program for this problem and using this computer okay so that is a problem generally when you have this kind of problems so we need a you know mathematical foundation or mathematical model so that we can easily solve them that means now your problem is what is the, you want to know the limitations of your machine physical machine you want to know the exact functionality of your computer and you want to know whether a particular problem is solvable or not by your computer for that what we are going to do is we are going to convert that physical machine to a mathematical model that is nothing but a turing machine turing machine is one of the such models okay so alan turing in 1936 proposed this turing machine he is a brilliant person okay so we learn that turing machine and we try to understand how this turing machine is going to answer our questions okay let's begin with first of all definition of turing machine your turing machine first of all i will tell you informally after that we'll go to formal thing informally you have some you know machine like this so you have a tape this is called tape it is semi infinite tape okay that means one side there is an end but there is other side there is no end okay that means you are starting here and if you go right side you have infinite size of tape so each this position if you see this is called cell okay in each cell we can write some symbol okay this is about your semi infinite tape now this mark if you see this is called left end marker generally we use to represent that this is the start of the tape understand now we have you know some finite control what is that finite control and how you get it already you have studied finite automata right so finite automata is going to solve some problems right it is going to accept something by what because of its some set of states and transition function right that entire thing is called finite control okay otherwise i can say that is a logic so using that logic we are going to accept something otherwise we are going to reject something so here also turing machine is going to have transition function and some of the states okay that entire thing is finite control so based on this finite control this finite control is going to tell you what to do okay we will see what we can do so whenever you have a tape we are going to read it by this read write head this read write head will be pointing somewhere initially and whenever you point at this moment let's say here then we are reading this input a after that what we do is we are going to modify it and we are going to move left or right using this finite control that finite control will decide whether to go left or right okay i can say logic logic is going to decide whether to you know go left or right and one more thing when you are in a state generally when we start the turing machine we will be having one behavior okay and by seeing the input finally the story is like this you have a behavior and you have a symbol to read once you read that symbol then you change the behavior okay and you modify the symbol after that once you change the behavior you want to see another symbol for that either you go left side or right side that is a summary of turing machine okay so this turing machine is going to read the input from the this tape at any point of time when you are reading the symbol based on that we change the behavior that means we change our state from one state to another state second thing we are going to manipulate that symbol and we are going to left or right that is the activity your Turing machine is going to do okay so this is about this transition function let me explain formally how this transition function looks like this is let's say your state this is your input symbol currently this input symbol is under your read and write head so this transition function says that when you have a behavior s and you are seeing input a then we change our behavior let's call it as q new behavior 
and we are manipulating that symbol A to B and we are moving right side. So this is the action we are going to perform. Understand? So, but sir, this is compulsory. No, exactly. This is not compulsory. It's up to you. You can go left. You can make it left. Otherwise, you can go to another state, something called Q, you know, uh, Q left, anything. So we can have any number of states, but finite number of states. Other means that means we can have finite behaviors. This is about, you know, introduction to Turing machine. Now we'll see formally what is your Turing machine and what are the things you are going to do. Before going to that, two more things I would like to talk about, which are very important. One is accept state, second one reject state. So finally, your Turing machine is going to read the symbols which are on tape and it is going to change its behavior. And there is one important behavior called accept state behavior. That means T. T means it is accept state. From now onwards, let me say behavior is a state. State and behavior are same. There is another behavior called reject behavior. So eventually when what happens is while changing your behaviors, your Turing machine will go to, you know, a behavior called accept state behavior. Once it goes to accept state behavior, after that it will not change its behavior. It will be staying there forever. Second one, whenever at any point of time it will go to reject state, it will not be going, uh, you know, to further states. It will be staying forever in reject state. That is about, you know, important properties of your Turing machine. So that definitely I can say that whenever you are in accept state, we are not changing the state. Then we say that your Turing machine accept, accepted something. When your Turing machine come to reject state, then we say that However, your Turing machine is not going to change its behavior. Then we say that finally your Turing machine rejected something. Now we'll try to understand with one example. Let's say this is your in semi infinite tape. This is your input ABA. Okay. So this is your left hand marker. Currently, we, let's say initially we started here. This is your finite control. Now eventually you started running it. You said Turing machine start. Then it started running. That means, you know, your input output head started reading the symbols remember one thing every time according to the you know basic definition of turing machine your io head once it reads a symbol then either it should go to right or left okay when there is no left then we don't go left but whenever there is a right then definitely we have to go right whenever there is a left we have to go to left but we cannot stall here that means we can't stop our control like this that means this kind of behavior is not possible. That means you are in a state Q on input B. Then the action always should be like, you know, some state. Okay. Let's say some arbitrary state Q1. Then you want to modify B to something A. Then I'm talking about this one. Either you should go to left or right. But we can't say that I stay here. Stall. Okay. You can't be stationary. Okay. Don't worry. So we can simulate the same thing. That means you want to stall here, right? That means by seeing the symbol, you don't want to move your head. But actually, according to my notation, it is not possible, but we can implement it. How to implement using only left and right, the same behavior what you are expecting. Actually, what you are expecting is when you are at some point of uh, cell, example, this one, and your state is Q, you want to have this action. Q on B, you want to change the symbol, let's say, and you want to stay there that means you don't want to move okay that means you want to be stationary how to get that behavior i will tell you you do one thing q on b first of all go to right side otherwise left side anything but change your state that is q dummy okay so q dummy is the assistant of q and you see how this behavior can be you know possessed q of b is nothing but q dummy then make b to c then go right now what you write is you write this action q of dummy sorry q dummy on symbol whatever it is next symbol is anything any equal to q state and go back for that so keep that symbol any symbol as any okay whatever it is then go left side see now if you do these two actions it is like staying stationary how you see this is your B, right? Let's say you are at here. Q on B. What happens? Go to Q dummy state and go right side. And make this B to C. Fine. Then go to Q dummy. Q dummy. 
Now, when you are in Q dummy, when you see this symbol, any symbol, then go to Q state. Fine, we are going to Q state and we are going to left. Yes, but we are not modifying this symbol. We are keeping as it is. Then you go back. Now, see, it is like by using these two, we are pretending like we are staying here itself. Correct. So, that's why we can implement that step. But generally, we don't consider it. Okay. So, I'm going to define this Turing machine with nine tuple. So, Q is nothing but set of states. We know that, of course. Sigma is nothing but input alphabet. Okay. Whatever the input you want to give example here, A, B is the input alphabet. You know that. So, tau is nothing but a tape alphabet. That means we are going to modify your input, right? Then we are going to use tape alphabet. That means on this tape, whatever the symbol you want to write, that belongs to your tape alphabet. You can define it, okay? It should be finite set of symbols like input alphabet. Example, you want to use something extra like, you know, apart from, I can say that tau contains sigma also. That means we can use input symbols also because are you not writing input here? Yes, on tape you are writing input. That's why I can say your tau is sigma union something else, anything. Example, you want to use left hand marker, you can use it. And do you want to use blank symbol? Yes. And you want to use right hand marker? Yes. So various, you want to use hash, anything, but you have to define it. Finally, I can say simply, tau is nothing but some set of symbols which you want to write on your tape. That's it. Okay. Anything is allowed. Now delta. Delta is very important. That is a transition function. Let me postpone it. Before that, let me cover this one. This is left hand marker. So, this left hand marker is a special symbol which is specially used to denote that this is the start of the tape. Okay. So, this is left hand marker. Now, this one, this is blank symbol. That means when you write, you know, initially, let's say when there is no input, all your tape is initialized with blanks. We can imagine that your tape is nothing but just blanks. Now, after that, we erase this blanks and we write input. Okay. Now, if I write input ABA, then still this remaining infinite part is going to contain blank symbols. That means what is the content of your tape? If you see, it will be like this. You see some input followed by some infinite amount of blank symbols. I can say we will be having blank symbol how many times? Infinite times. Okay. Infinite. This is about your tape structure. Now, this is about blank symbols. The purpose of blank symbols is to fill your tape with uh, entire tape with blanks. Now, S, T, R are the three special states. S is the start state where we are going to start our, you know, for, I mean, I can say Turing machine. Initially, your Turing machine is having a behavior called start state. Now, after that, later it will move to another states. We will see. So, what is T? Already I told you T is the final state. That means Whenever your Turing machine comes to this final state, we say that your Turing machine accepts the given input. Now, similarly, we have a reject state. Whenever a Turing machine comes to this R, that means reject state, there is a dedicated, otherwise, you know, designated uh, state that is reject state. Whenever it comes to that reject state, then we say that your Turing machine is rejecting the input. Now, apart from that, sometimes, you know, because of your code, what can happen is your Turing machine may be, you know, running forever without coming to final or without coming to reject. Think about it. Yes, it is possible because you have written such a code such a way that your Turing machine is neither coming to final state nor coming to reject state. Then what? Then we have to continue the running of the input. That means we don't stop Turing machine. So Turing machine will be if you don't stop, it will be continuously running. Okay. But whenever it comes to final state, we stop it. Whenever it comes to reject state, we stop it. Otherwise, it will be running forever then we say that it is looping so there are three behaviors possible for turing machine when you initiate your turing machine when you start running the turing machine so that will be running 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 after some time it may reach final state then we say the turing machine accepts the input now we'll see how to write a code for this a power and b power n that means i want to write a turing machine which accepts only strings of in the form of a power n b power n let me write it for that, what is my logic is, first of all, using my Turing machine, you know one thing, right? I can see all the symbols. I will see all the symbols. 
and I don't know where is the end of the input right first of all I detect that end of the input we know that end of the input always will have blank symbol okay so I'm going to tell you my activity I'm going to what I'm going to do first of all I write here write end marker that is the task number one how I do I will uh, we will see then after that now I have left end marker right end marker and I have input now what I'm going to do is how do I know that I have equal number of A's and equal number of B's for that I take you know whenever I see uh, input A then I'm going to cancel it that means you know I cancel it and on behalf of that cancellation I will go to B and I will cancel 1B okay remember it now after that I will see one more A I will cancel it on behalf of it I'm going to cancel one more B now after that for that I'm going to write the code don't worry so after that we cancel this A along with that this B if I do that somehow then I'm going to end with what left hand marker all the blanks right hand marker so in, in this process somehow we should realize that so all the A's and B's are cancelled really if A's and B's are cancelled you end up with all the blank symbols then that is a you know landmark to say that we are having a power n b power n really you have more a's then in this process you can cancel a but you will not get corresponding b if you have more b's we cannot you know you cannot cancel a but you can see more number of b's we will see that so in this process if you see still more a's that means at least one a but there is no b otherwise there is a b but there is no a then we can stop and we can say there is an error and we will go to reject state so finally what is the accept state if i get all the blank symbols so systematically we do that step number one first of all let me do this small job task number one what is the task number one first finding the right end marker okay second thing is cancelling equal number of a's and b's cancelling a with b this is a little bit complicated topic uh, this uh, complicated task but this is very easy let's do first task number one for that what is our starting state let's say s yes. okay now initially always we see you are in uh, this uh, head is going to point to first symbol that's why always the first symbol will be left hand marker s on left hand marker what are you going to do what is your behavior what is your task we want to find out the end end uh, i mean right end right for that whenever you see left end still we should go right that's why the action should be like this i will be in same state i don't have any problem with this state but i don't touch this sim symbol that means let it be don't manipulate it but go to right if you do that what happens we will come here right when you come here you see another symbol called a or b if you see a then what are you going to do is it end of the st uh, string no right still there may be right side some symbols that's why whenever you see a then still there may there may be some other symbols then simply continue your task s on a simply be in same state keep that symbol as it is go right side when you do that whenever i see a i will move but sir what if i get b yes we have to move right that's why s comma b comma r when you do these three things what happens we will see let's blindly execute this code s on left end let's say initially you are at state s s on left end marker this action says that keep that as it is go here now s on a this action says that uh, be in same state but go right side s on a this action says that go right s on a sorry s on b so keep that b as it is and go to right side correct now we are here s on b then s state is s symbol is b okay go right side yes that means no manipulation now suddenly you will see right end marker correct sorry a blank symbol whenever you see blank symbol definitely the first blank is the end of the uh, string right so that's why s on blank what you want to do here i want to insert right end marker that's why the logic will be you know uh, we will see the state name but the action will be definitely if there is a manipulation i keep right end marker then should i go right side i don't have any work here then i just turn left but do you want to change your state if you don't change your state what happens you will be like this then you will be 
accessing this B right when you see B again you go right correct that means our task is done then our behavior should be changed if you are in same behavior then this behavior is going to move you right side again correct that's why I don't want to do that that's why I will go to a behavior called Q the behavior is nothing but go left most that means go back Q back this Q backs behavior is nothing but going back okay how to go back for that what should be the logic we will write here whenever you are in Q back initially you will be in Q back whenever you see this you know right hand marker right sorry blank right whenever there is a blank we are writing right hand marker I'm showing here then we are coming left okay let's show here you ask yourself what do you want to do when you are here this is your situation now Q back and you are seeing symbol B what do you want to do I want to go back sir for that action should be when you are in Q back and whatever the symbol you see A or B let me write like this A or B okay then B in same state Q back state and don't change A or B keep as it is but go left okay generally we have to write for A separately and write for B separately but simplicity I am writing it okay so maybe I am not following the original definition but I am just you can understand that right so finally when you are in Q back state whatever the symbol you see go left now eventually if you do that because of these other symbols simply your control will come left right because we are moving your tape head to left side then what is the landmark to stop this process simple when you are in Q back state then when you see left end marker that means what we reached again end right then come to a state it is let's say up to you but what you want to do do you want to do anything here do, do you want to touch it no keep as it is now after that come right when you do this step what happens is when you are in queue back slowly you will come left and you will touch this one when you hit this one then so this state is up to you then this left hand marker will be left hand marker then your head points to right side one so we'll come here okay now since job is done we should not be in queue back state if you are in queue back state that means still what is the behavior of queue back it is trying to go left correct but now you want to you don't want to do that it's done you already reached the left end correct then after that you want to do the second task what is that cancelling a's and b's let's begin cancelling a's and b's for that you go to a mode called cancelling a's and b's how to do cancelling a's and b's first try to search for a if you get it search for b okay that's why at this moment whenever i see left hand marker when i'm in q back state i want to change my duty what is my duty or my job now i'm giving job to someone who can cancel a's and b's let's give that to mr q a I will tell you Mr. who is QA he is a new behavior Mr. QA your behavior is very simple you have to search for A when you get that A please cancel it let's define QA's behavior now okay now you see Mr. QA you are very easy your job from now onwards first you know whenever you uh, get the job you will be here that means this is the first time you your state will be QA and you will be seeing input symbol either A or B we don't know cut your job is searching for A if you don't get it that means what if you don't see A if you see directly B that means what definitely A's are all cancelled and there are more B's then only it will happen correct really you have equal number of A's and equal number of B's definitely you will see A correct that's why Mr. QA you are searching for A be ready for that and if you see B then definitely there is something wrong go to our favorite state called reject state that means from now onwards like I can say that my input is wrong then I will go to reject state and anything you do here let's keep symbol as it is B and go left or right doesn't matter okay left or right not a problem because already we reached reject state that means we are saying that so this is in this input is completely rejected second thing sir when we are in QA state let's be positive if we see A that means what actually you suppose to cancel A and you thought of cancelling A and you got A you tell me what you want to do simple you want to cancel it let's cancel it when you cancel it what we do we see the state should I change the state or not we will see later but definitely 
we have to write blank symbol that is what cancellation correct yes we are cancelling by making it blank then what to do should i go right or left no because we are going right side correct so that's why we have to go right because to cancel b b's will be right side that's why i'm taking right direction but should i change state yes what is the duty of QA? Searching for A and cancel it, right? Once it cancels one A, it should not cancel further A's. Then it should go to a state called, you know, QB. What is QB? Mr. QB, now just now you got shape. Just now you got a job and your job is searching for B and canceling it. Whenever you, you know, get a start, that means whenever we come to QB, definitely one A is cancelled. Then only we give chance to QB. Correct? See here. QA and A, sorry, B, before coming to QB, so we have QA and A, we come to QB and we cancel A, right? Then from now onwards, we should not cancel A's, but we should cancel B. That is the job of QB. Mr. QB, be careful. You should cancel B's. It's up to you when you cancel it. Now, we'll ask Mr. QB, how you cancel B, when you cancel B? Simple. Whenever I see B, I cancel it and I will inform you. Let's try that. So, on QB, if it sees A, because it is in a dash mode, cancelling B mode. That means already some A is cancelled and we are looking for B, but we got A. Yeah, it may be possible, right? When you are in searching for B, if you see A, then don't worry because that is not your job. Skip it. Then be in that mode. Don't change that mode. And keep that A as it is. Go right in that way. By, you know, story form, we can easily understand the things. Now, QB on B. So, you are searching for B and you got it. Then what to do? Our job will be done. That means cancellation will be done. First of all, we'll see cancellation. QB on B, cancel it. That means B will become space or blank symbol. Now, should I go right or left? So, that is unnecessary to go right side because already I cancelled one uh, B, right? Example, you see, you have three A's and three B's. We are doing this process like this. First of all, we cancelled A and we searching for B. Then once you cancel it, I should go left side. Why? Again, I have to start the process one more time, correct? Then I will go to leftmost bit, otherwise, you know, left end and I start the process, okay? For that, I have to go to a behavior where that behavior will move me to left side, okay? So, we'll see that at this moment left. Now, you see, we have a friend called Quebec. Did you remember what he was doing? Quebec was, you know, simply when you handle uh, control to Quebec, then he was simply moving as left side, you see. Q back on anything A or B, simply he will go to left side and he keeps the symbol same. Correct? When, whenever he sees left leftmost symbol, then he will come to a QA state, which is nothing but cancelling A state. I want this functionality. See, focus on this functionality. I like this functionality. Exactly, I am expecting this one. That's why whenever I you know, cancel the B, I will handle the situation to Q back. He will take care of everything. What he will do is, since we will come here, because of this code, so eventually you will go to leftmost uh, symbol, otherwise that left mark. Then after that, automatically your Q back is seeing that symbol and it is surrendering in the control to QA. Now I can say that when we give control to Q back, it will give control back to QA after going to leftmost symbol. That means first input symbol. Okay. Now you tell me what is the goal of QA? QA is going to cancel again one more A, right? Yes, we know that we have written code for QA here. If really if you give control to Q back, Q back gives control to QA, what QA will do automatically? So we will be here. Now you get control here, but this time it is blank symbol. QA and blank, did you define? No, that's why when you are in QA state, sometimes you see blank symbol also because that it's a, you itself, you know, you yourself cancelled it. That's why QA and blank symbol, what should be the action? You tell me, we write it. In that way, slowly we add the instructions, don't worry. When you are in QA, when you see this blank symbol, what to do? Simple, I don't want blank symbol. I want to search for A's. That's why I simply go on, right? So that's why I will be in same state. I should remember it. I should go to right side. Okay. Then the symbol, about, what about the symbol? I should keep it as it is. So in that way, that is a behavior of QA. 
now you see QA so what eventually it will try to cancel it sir my question is let's say you gave control to Q back Q back gave control to QA then QA is searching for A but what if it doesn't get anything no problem if it doesn't get anything you see eventually QA will see what example let's say all the blank symbols are uh, sorry all the A's are cancelled if this is the situation what happens QA and blank go right QA and blank go right QA and blank go right go right go right go right suddenly QA will see right hand marker whenever QA sees right hand marker now you tell me what does it mean exactly equal number of A's and B's are got cancelled then definitely I can say that QA on this right hand marker is the happy state final state because I am going to accept the string that's why T is the state now symbol your wish anything you can keep already we are in final state anything you can do you can go right or left doesn't matter okay but remember one thing when you are in T state don't define any action that means T on if you define anything T on anything should be T only when you are in reject state example here on reject if you see any symbol you should be in that state okay example I will tell you how to define you know action at T example you want to define action at T you are at T but still your machine runs forever right that's fine so T example you are in T state then what you want to do any symbol comes any symbol what is the action you want to take I don't take any action because everything is fine for me already I reached final state that's why the appropriate action should be T on any symbol don't worry but be in T state and write that some symbol any symbol let's say some symbol and go left or right not a problem similarly we have to define this kind of action for reject reject on any symbol reject and write some symbol and go to left or right doesn't matter so that always when you reach to final you will be in final when you reach to reject that means already you decided that input is wrong then be in there be in that mode that's it okay so this is about you know almost all the actions maybe we have missed some actions we have to add you will understand some other actions if you execute this basic code correct because we are freshers we are just started right and we we are writing the first code then there may be mistakes also that's why what we do is we take this code and we try to execute on some input so that we understand did we miss any code like you know how you write C program first of all we start with the important logic then we try to make it robust otherwise you know we try to add some more instructions so that you know there will be some of the border cases which will be solved correct in the same way here also whatever the commands I have written with that we try to execute for some input let's take that let me take only two A's and two B's whether it works or not we'll see ready now initially you are in dash state s correct now what is the symbol you are initially scanning left marker okay that is the initial configuration now s on left symbol what is the action it is s keep that as it is go right let me go fast then we go to here s now s on a you wrote s on a simply go right yes so if you know the behavior of S easily we can move it what is the behavior of S how you designed S the goal of S is simply keeping right hand marker for that whenever whatever symbol it is it goes right that's why S and B definitely we go right S and B go right now we come here S on right hand marker see is there any thing like that no initially I'm sorry it should be blank symbol right okay then S on blank symbol then we come to Q back okay state is Q back and go left because we were here then decision is going left so this is Q back ready now but this symbol will be modified you see blank is modified to right hand marker yes perfectly we are you know uh, our code is working as we are expecting now when you are in Q back see the actions A or B what to do Q back go left but don't change the symbol that means simply go left Q back and anything go left Q back and anything that is what I have written go left Q back and anything go left but except this one Q back and left hand marker is nothing but now action begins Q A correct okay and right and don't change the symbol that's why come right side state is Q A correct 
Now, what is the duty of QA? We have designed QA such a way that QA has to cancel A. Okay. Now, we will see whether it cancels or not. QA on A, you see. QA on A is QB. Fine. Go right. Okay, right. First of all, let me update the tape head. Okay. Then, what to do? Keep the, I mean, before that, we have to change it to blank. Fine. Then come right side. And what is the state name? QB. Okay. QB on A. QB on A. Simply QB AR. That means simply move right side. Don't modify anything. Okay. Now QB on B. QB on B. Then go to Q back. Okay. Change your behavior. We'll change it. But before that modification is make it blank. Yes. See. What are we doing? We cancelled one A, one B. Then we changed our duty. Should We should go left side. Okay. I'm going to left side. But I gave that control to Q back fine so when you are in queue back what to do simple a or b simply go left but when you see left hand marker stop and go right okay then queue back and a go left queue back and blank go left i did not write about blank right now just now i learned that sometimes your input is blank also if you see input blank also then we have to do what go to queue back okay so here a or b are blank slowly we learn it that's it so because of blank go back then here you are in queue back you see left hand symbol so then what to do again change your state to qa fine and don't touch it okay don't touch it go right go right so we'll come to qa now what is qa's job how you defined it it has to cancel a right such a way we plan definitely it will work now we got confidence that since we know about qa behavior QA and A will cancel it. QA and B, you see, simply it will go. See, QA and B, we reject it. Correct. Now we will see. QA on blank symbol. Did you write anything? Yes. QA on blank symbol. QA blank symbol, right. That means don't do anything. Go right side. Fine. Then I'll come here. QA and A. We know that QA and A. Just check it out. I know that. Just cancel it. Correct. Cancel it. Now change your behavior. Now we are going to a state called cancelling B state. That means QB and we go right side. We know that. See here. Okay. Now when you are in QB state, what is our job? Searching for B. Now QB and B. But at this moment you have blank symbol. Correct. Whenever you see blank symbol, what we do? Just check it out. QB and blank symbol. Did I define? No, I did not define. Now we have to add. Sometimes you see blank symbols also. When you are in QB state, when you see blank symbol, you tell me. Tell me what is your opinion. Simple. You are searching for B. But you have seen one of the blank symbol. That, that doesn't mean that it is end. Because end is right end marker. We know that end is the right end marker. So that's why simply go right. Maybe in the right side there might be some B's to cancel. That's why don't decide that there is no B. Whenever QB and blank symbol. Keep you know patience and go right side. QB keep that blank as it is go right side if you do that we'll come here when you come here qb and b we are expecting that we know this one qb and b so first of all make it blank symbol perfect then go left i'll go left but change the state what is your idea what is the why we are moving to q back because q back is going to move you to leftmost end that is the functionality of q back mr q back Execute your code because of that we know that see Q back on space then Q back Keep that space as it is left. That's why Definitely we go left we go left we go left and we reach left hand marker whenever we see left hand marker So it will change your state to QA that means we'll come to QA and we Go right correct. So that's why we come here now QA and blank symbol you see QA and blank QA is searching for A, but you have now blank. What to do? Search for right side, sir. Yes, that's what it is doing. QA and blank is QA. Keep blank as it is. Go right. When you do that, go right, go right, go right. Because it will be repeatedly applied. Then we reach right hand marker. When QA and right hand marker already we have written C. Final state. Yes, because... When you have equal number of A's and equal number of B's, then only they will be cancelled. You get all the blank symbols, right? Now you apply your brain also. Then you understand that 
when you get this kind of all blank symbols definitely your input is in the form of a power n b power n and rightly we are going to final state right so perfectly i can say that this turing machine is accepting strings in the form of a power n b power n okay in such a way we have written the code i hope this code doesn't have any mistakes maybe there might be some of the mistakes you execute and you check it out but here the goal is not writing a robust code or sophisticated code the goal is understanding how to write a code and the goal is you know how a turing machine can you know what is the working principle that means how a uh, you know the a turing machine functions okay